Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these unusual lacy earrings only out of seed beads. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. I will be so glad to have you as my viewer. If you want to skip the intro and the list of materials of my tutorials you could always do this because now I have sections of my video and you could skip forward and backward if you want. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks. By the way, you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook and Instagram pages. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. And you could check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 5 colors of 11 oz seed beads or you could use 10 oz seed beads if you want as long as all of them are one and the same size. And here I use earring findings in black color. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. Here is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay guys and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm starting my work by picking up four of these beautiful chameleon beads. Okay, and I have my four here and what I want to do is slide those down, stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and pull and then I will make one more knot and pull again. I just want to be sure it's all tight and secure. Now guys, in my next step, what I'm doing is that I go through the following bead and now I want to take one blue bead here, light blue bead and I'm going in my next seed bead. Now I have this and now guys, I'm going to repeat this around my work. Okay, so now I have this and in my next step guys, I want to make another element like this and I want to make it here, here, here and here from all the four sides. So I take four chameleon beads and I go around through this blue bead just like this. And then in my next step, I want to make an additional thread pad going around through all of those beads. Closing them like this. And now I will add blue beads everywhere. Okay, I add blue beads from all of the four sides. Then what I do is that I go here in this direction. 
and as I told you I want to make similar elements from all the four sides around this central bead this central element sorry and I take four again I go around like this then I do the additional thread pad like I did before Okay, like this again a blue one everywhere around Okay, and here I will make one more element. Okay, now I have this and I will repeat these steps here as well. Okay guys, and now I have four absolutely the same elements. I made a central element and four elements around it. So now what I want to do in my next step is go here in this direction. and exit out of this blue bead. What I need to take is one blue and I do this. I make here a triangle. Then I need to take one chameleon bead and I go here like this. one more chameleon I go here like this and one more chameleon and I do this now what I want to do next is reach the other gap so here I made a triangle of blue beads surrounded with chameleon beads and in my next step I want to reach the next gap that I have between my elements and repeat the same thing okay now I'm here going through those two blue beads connecting them taking just one more blue bead 
and going around in circle like this. And here in the center, I add one chameleon bead. Like this. And two more chameleons. One here. And one more here. Okay, guys, and now I will repeat these same steps here and here. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and see. When I'm ready with these two steps, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and I just finished making the same triangle here like I did in my previous step. And if you forgot how I'm doing it, you could always rewind the video and repeat the first steps I show you from the other two sides. It's absolutely the same way. And you could also ask me anything in the comments. And now what I want to do is exit through this blue bead that's sticking out. And I want to take three of these dark red beads. Okay, I have them here. And I'm going through this chameleon bead. So now I have this. In my next step, I'm taking one chameleon bead and I'm going through the other chameleon. Okay, then I'm going to take three more dark red beads and I'm going through this blue one here that's sticking out. Now I have this. Then again, three like this. Go through the chameleon. And here I need to add one chameleon bead. Three again. Go here through the blue one. Pull tight. And again three. Like this, and when you go through a chameleon one, you add one chameleon here. And I have several steps until I finish this row. Okay guys, and at this stage it could bend a little bit, but in my following steps we'll fix it. And now guys, I'm gonna be connecting these angles here that we did with the dark red. As I'm exiting here through this one, I'm going to pick up seven orange beads. Okay, I have my seven here. And as I'm exiting through this one, I'm skipping this uh, edge here with the chameleon bead. And I go through the following red one with the orange. Okay, now I have this. Then uh, I should connect these two sides and these two angles. And I'm going to pick up this time five beads. Okay, and I have my five here. And as I'm exiting through one of the angles, I'm going through the other one. So now I have this. Then again, what comes next are seven beads. Okay, and as I'm exiting here, I'm going through the following 
be it that sticking out the mouse through the following angle. Then it comes the time to add five beads. Okay, five. And I'm going in the following red bead that's sticking out the most. And now, guys, I'm going to continue this until the end of this row the same way. I will alternate seven, five, seven, five, and I'll meet you there. Okay, guys, and I'm here where I'm just adding my last five beads from this row. So it's seven, five, seven, five, and now this is what I have when I pull. And now, guys, in my next step, I want to go through four orange beads in this direction. Okay, you see one, two, three, four. And now I'm going to pick up seven yellow beads. Okay, I have seven yellow beads. And as I'm exiting through this central orange bead, I will go through this central orange piece. Here I have two, here I have two, and I'm going through the central one, adding my seven beads. Okay. Now, what I need to add next are seven again, and in this row, guys, I'm going to add seven beads. Okay, and now I'm going to count one, two, three, four beads, and I'm going through the fourth one. And when I go through the fourth one, you see I have three beads from this side and three beads from this side. So this is the central bead that I'm going through. Now I need to add seven more beads. Okay, I have my seven here. And here I'm going through the central one or through the third one counting from here. Okay, now I will add seven more. And I'm going through the fourth one, one, two, three, four. Or through the central one. Okay, guys, and now I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, now I have my seven beads. And I'm going here in my last step. And I'm almost finished with my work. I have one more row to go. And how I'm doing it. I will go through these four beads again, reaching the central bead here. And I'm going to pick up three blue beads. Okay, I have them. And as I'm exiting here through this central bead, I will go back in circle through this bead. Just like this. Now I have this. Now I will go here through those beads. I'm going through the orange and through this yellow here. And I'm going to pick up three blue beads. And I will go back in circle through these beads. And I'm exiting here. Now I need three more blue beads and I'm going back through this central bead here in circle. You see I have a loop here between my beads and I pull. Then what I want to do is reach here this part. And I'm going to pick up three more blue beads. Okay, guys. 
and I'm going to continue these two steps until the end of this row here the central one make three and here where the orange beads and the yellow beads are at three and continue this until the end if you forgot how I'm doing it you could always rewind the video and repeat these steps everywhere so see you in a while okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row and what I want to do next is go through all of those beads in this direction and I want to exit through those blue beads here because this is where I want to attach my earring finding and I'm taking here my earring finding and I take one seed bead my earring finding and one more seed bead of this chameleon color and I go back in circle through this blue bead okay then what I want to do is reinforce this part here by going several times around it and by the way it's a good idea to squeeze your earring findings so they don't go out of this loop to squeeze them with your pliers now guys I will find a place to make a knot okay I will make it here first I make a loop then I go once and I go second time through the loop I've made I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull and then I go through the following seed bead and by the way guys you could repeat this knot several more times and when you're ready cut your thread okay and now my unusual lacy earring is ready okay guys so now my unusual lacy earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and I will be so happy to have you as my viewer you will be inspired to fun usually twice a week down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mostly on Instagram and Facebook you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is you could check my second channel with the fast clips and that was all from me guys bye bye